How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with The Review Suite. So this is part two in the series I like to call Getting Started with Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. In part one, we reviewed the hardware and to recap, we are of course using the Raspberry Pi 4, eight gigabyte model. For the case, we are using the Argon 1 M.2. The Argon 1 M.2 of course supports SATA M.2 SSDs. So with that, we are using the Kingston A400 with 240 gigabytes of storage. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how to flash your storage so that you can get Ubuntu running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, as a reminder, you do not need to use the exact same hardware that I'm using to run Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi. In fact, you don't even need the eight gigabyte model. You will, however, need at least the four gigabyte model to run the 64-bit version of Ubuntu. Booting your operating system from a USB device is very easy for the Raspberry Pi 4. The most recent updates to Raspberry Pi OS have enabled a lot of features, including NVMe boot. However, the setup process can be a bit tricky depending on what resources you have available. For example, if you wanna use a two and a half inch SATA SSD, you will need one of these SATA to USB adapters. These are pretty affordable. They are about less than $10. I will leave a link down in the description box. As a matter of fact, everything I mentioned in this video, hardware, software, everything will be mentioned in the description box. If you wanna use a M.2 drive over USB, you will need an enclosure like this. Now, keep in mind, if you are using a SATA M.2 like the Kingston we're using, you want to make sure that the enclosure is for SATA SSDs, not NVMe. But let's say you don't have either one of these or one of these, but you do have the Argon 1 M.2 case. I'm going to show you what I believe is the easiest way to flash your M.2 drive without external enclosures or adapters. For this video, you're gonna need, of course, a micro SD card. The second thing you'll need is a micro SD card reader. Finally, you're gonna need access to a Windows, Macintosh, or Linux computer with an internet connection. If you have those things, let's get started. All right, so we are at my computer, and the first thing we wanna do is download the Raspberry Pi imager. So we're gonna go over to raspberrypi.org forward slash software. Once you get to this page, you wanna scroll down, and you wanna download for your respective operating system. I already have it downloaded, but if I was downloading this, I would just click download for Windows. After you download Raspberry Pi imager, install it, and open it up. All right, the next thing we wanna do is insert our micro SD card into our computer via the micro SD card reader. All right, so we have Raspberry Pi Imager installed. Our micro SD card is inserted into our computer. So now the first thing we wanna do is click choose OS. Now, if you were running Ubuntu directly from your micro SD card, all you would need to do at this point is go over to other general purpose OS, then click Ubuntu, and then you would choose Ubuntu Desktop 20.10 for RPi 4 and 400. But since we are not connecting our SSD directly into our computer, we need to take a few extra steps to flash the SSD that'll be installed on the Argon 1 M.2. So we're gonna go back click back again, and we're actually gonna install Raspberry Pi OS. Now the reason we're gonna choose Raspberry Pi OS is because we can install the Raspberry Pi imager under Raspberry Pi OS and then flash the M.2, which will be recognized by the Pi 4 under Raspberry Pi OS. So next we're gonna choose storage, and there is the 32 gigabyte micro SD card I have inserted into my computer. Now, keep in mind, this process will completely erase the contents on your micro SD card. So if you have any important documents, make sure you back them up 
somewhere on your computer or in the cloud. And again, there's that warning. All existing data on generic mass storage class USB device will be erased. So again, back up your stuff if you have any important documents. So I'm going to click yes. So now we have a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS on a micro SD card. So what I'm going to do now is insert it into the Raspberry Pi 4. We also have our M.2 installed in the bottom of the case. I am going to go ahead and close this up for now, uh, but we're not going to do anything with the M.2 drive just yet. So what we're going to do now is get Raspberry Pi OS installed. And then I'm going to show you how to flash the M.2 drive using Raspberry Pi OS. OK, so now we have the micro SD card inserted into the Raspberry Pi 4. And we also have the M.2 drive inserted into the bottom of the Argon 1 M.2 case. So now I'm just going to power on the Pi. OK, so now we are at the setup screen of Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm just going to go through the process as normal, but we're not going to set this up like you normally would if you were using it as a desktop. So I'm just going to click next. I'm going to choose um, the United States, American English and New York as my time zone, use English language, use US keyboard. I'm going to click next. And we're going to set up a password. Next screen has black borders. Next. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to click next because I do want to install the latest software. OK, system is up to date so we can restart. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up terminal. And let me make this a little bit bigger. And we want to run the following command sudo raspi config. Then we want to come down to advanced options. And then we're going to go down to boot order. And then we're going to choose USB boot. USB is default boot device, so we're going to click OK. Then we're going to come down and click Finish. And then we're going to reboot. Now, what we have done is essentially told the Raspberry Pi to check for a USB device to boot from first. And then if it doesn't see one, it's going to go to the micro SD card. Okay, we're back on the desktop and the next thing we need to do is install the Raspberry Pi imager. So we're going to go into terminal again. And now we're going to enter sudo apt install rpi imager. I'm going to click Y for yes, press enter. We can close the terminal window. I'm going to click the Pi, go down to accessories, and there's Imager. So now I'm going to choose the operating system, which is Ubuntu. So I'm going to click choose OS, other general purpose OS, Ubuntu. And we're going to choose Ubuntu Desktop 20.10 for RPi 4 and 400. This is the 64 bit operating system, so we're going to choose that one. 
I'm going to choose storage. There's my Kingston drive. And I'm going to choose write. This is a brand new drive, so there's nothing on here, but they are going to erase it again. So just make sure you know. So click yes. Enter our password. And click enter. All right, verification is done. We are good to go. So now I'm just going to shut down the Raspberry Pi and remove the micro SD card. Okay, so now we have our SATA M.2 drive flash with Ubuntu. Now we can remove the micro SD card from the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, once we get this assembled, we're going to take our USB connector here, plug it in. And when we reboot the Pi, it should recognize the M.2 drive as the boot device because it is plugged in to the USB port, which connects to the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, again, if you are using an external SSD with an enclosure like the NVMe or the SATA USB, you want to make sure that you plug it into this bottom USB 3 port here. We're all plugged in, so let's boot the Pi back up with Ubuntu. Now the initial setup for Ubuntu may take a little while, but you will notice that it runs a lot faster than micro SD card. All right, we are in Ubuntu 20.10. So I'll walk you guys really quickly through the setup process. So we are using English. So we're going to click continue. English US for the keyboard layout. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. New York for the time zone. And at this point, you can uh, set up your username and your computer name. I'm just going to run through this really quickly. Now that we have our computer name and username set up, everything is going to begin to install. So we're just going to give it a minute to run through the process. All right, the setup just finished. It's going to reboot. And we will be greeted with the setup of Ubuntu in the next screen. All right, so I'm going to log in. All right, so now we are in the setup for Ubuntu. So once you get to this screen, you have the option to sign in to one of these online accounts. I'm going to skip this for now. And I will not send my system info to Canonical. So I'm going to click next. I don't use location services, so I'm not going to turn that on either. So I'm going to click next and we are ready to go. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you install Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4 using a SATA M.2 drive. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install the Argon One fan script while running Ubuntu. If you want to catch that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss it. If you found this video helpful or informative, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Raspberry Pi 4 content, subscribe right here to the review suite. I'm Jason, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.